Hello guys, good day to all, this is Mike Padua and we are back with our latest weather analysis and it's been more than a week after our last uh, analysis uh, we uh, prepared during the recent uh, TEDx at NCF and we have to be prepared during that event and it turned out well and I would like to uh, Thank the team of uh, TEDx NCF for a well done first ever TEDx here in uh, Bicol region, particularly when it comes to educational institution. And uh, it was such a uh, an honor and uh, an experience to be a part of this uh, talk. Okay, since it's a global thing. And uh, this uh, weather analysis, this English version, is brought to you by Ty Typhoon 2000 and uh, in partnership with Naga College Foundation. This is for today, January 29 to 31, Wednesday to Friday. And I would like to uh, greet you all a happy Chinese New Year, Gong Hai Fat Choi. And uh, this year is the year of the snake. Uh, I wish you all the luck, prosperity, and good health for this uh, 2025. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion, and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordado. So let's begin with our update. We have another round of the Northeast Monsoon. This is a new surge together with uh, Shearline. A few days back, we mentioned the new surge in the Shearline. It, it looks like it ri it's right on the spot that we are now experiencing some rainfall. Just light to moderate. At times heavy and it will be more frequent over uh, Visayas particularly summer later area and also uh, it will affect uh, the southern portions of the Bicol region uh, later tonight and by tomorrow over the rest of the Bicol region so expect on and off light moderate to at times heavy rainfall from 50 to 100 millimeters. There are some areas with more than 100 millimeters, like the eastern portions, Catanduanes, Eastern Albay, Eastern Susigon, uh, Partido District in Camarini Sur, and the eastern sections of uh, Camarini Norte. And you can clearly see here the uh, movement of the clouds generated by this shear line. Here's the uh, Zoom in satellite animation from windy.com and you can clearly see here the shear line affecting this area and the northeast monsoon blowing here across uh, Mimaropa, Misayas, the west of Luzon and into the West Philippine Sea. Now here's the uh, radar shot from the Doppler uh, uh, Pagasa radar station and you can clearly see here heavy rainfall of more than uh, 10 to 50 millimeters can be observed over Camarines Norte, Partido District, Eastern Albay, that includes Tui, Tabaco, and Legaspi, and portions of Sursigon, and also some portions of uh, Catanduanes, while the rest of uh, the Bicol region, including Naga City, we, we are just uh, starting to feel the rainfall there are some light to moderate rainfall expected overnight okay and if we take a look at the uh, rain forecast for the next uh, 24 hours and uh, particularly tomorrow thursday january 30 you can see light to moderate to at times heavy rainfall affecting our area it will extend up to the uh, northern parts of Quezon and Pulilio island and on Friday, the rainfall over the Bicol region will diminish. It will uh, uh, focus up north along the eastern sections of northern Luzon and 
eastern sections of Central Luzon. So that's the areas of eastern Cagayan, eastern Isabela, Aurora, and northern Quezon. So expect rainfall of up to 100 millimeters in selected areas. It will go up to more than 100 millimeters. So that will be on Friday and on Saturday it will be gone. Okay. So through the weekend, uh, the easterlies will return and uh, dry conditions will be expected across Luzon and Visayas except for Mindanao. There will be uh, still the effect of the easterlies. So that's the uh, rain forecast. As for the latest on the Pagasa weather advisory on the rainfall, this is the latest rainfall or heavy rainfall outlook due to the shear line issued at 5 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, moderate to heavy rainfall of 50 to 100 millimeters will be expected across Quezon, Camarines Norte, Camarines Sur, Sama Leyte, Southern Leyte, and Dilagat Islands for today until tomorrow afternoon. And tomorrow afternoon until Friday afternoon, January 31, the 50 to 100 millimeters will also be expected over North Aurora and it will prevail across Camarines Norte, Camarines Sur, and Canaan Juanes. So there might be some localized flooding in uh, low-lying or near the uh, river system. Landslide is possible in highly susceptible areas. As for the uh, heavy to intense rainfall of 100 to 200 millimeters, expect this over Albay, Sosegon, Canadawanes, Northern and Eastern Samar today until tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow afternoon, Thursday until Friday afternoon over Quezon okay but uh, if we look at the uh, forecast here using the uh, forecast of the European model it looks like the areas of Cagayan Valley the eastern sections will also be affected uh, aside from Quezon okay so that's the uh, forecast from the Pagasa National Weather Bureau of our country as for the wind forecast, we expect tomorrow the northeast monsoon will slowly weaken but still continues to affect extreme northern Luzon come Friday. And on uh, Friday, the wind system will shift from the east, so easterlies. And on Saturday and Sunday, it will be calm in uh, uh, Luzon and uh, parts of Visayas, while uh, Mindanao will still be feeling the effects of the easterlies. So this will be an abrupt five-day uh, forecast. And uh, please take all necessary precautions, especially living in low-lying areas of uh, the affected uh, regions due to the uh, uh, shear line. Now for the wave forecast. Today, tomorrow, Thursday, there will still be uh, rough seas, so dangerous to all types of sea vessels across the East Philippine Sea. Uh, wave heights from 3 to 5 meters will be expected here over the uh, East Philippine Sea as well as 2 to uh, 4 meters over the West Philippine Sea. Well, the inland waters of the Philippines will have the calm to uh, one meter in wave heights so that's the uh, forecast for today until tomorrow thursday by friday still the effects of the uh, northeast monsoon and the shear line will uh, be bringing some two to four meters of big waves okay while the rest of the uh, uh, ocean waters will remain light to moderate. On Saturday, still, the East Philippine Sea will remain rough, will remain rough and dangerous to all types of sea vessels. And on Sunday, the wave heights will be, uh, begin to decrease. And on Monday, it will return to light to moderate up to 2 meters here of the East Philippine Sea. Elsewhere, it remains normal and suitable for fishing and sea travel.
Now before we leave you, here's the latest global topics hazard outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, valid for the next two to three weeks issued today. And uh, for week two, valid uh, uh, February uh, 5 to 11, we expect more than 60% of above average rainfall across Visayas, northeastern Mindanao, while more than 50% over Bicol region west of uh, Mimaropa. Uh, normal conditions will be expected over uh, northern and central Luzon. While uh, on the uh, third week, valid February 12 to February 18, more than 50% of above average rainfall will be expected across southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao because of the ongoing uh, La Nina. Okay? So, uh, please take all necessary precautions in those living in low-lying areas. But these are forecasts. Okay, so that's the uh, hazards outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA. That ends our update for today, Wednesday. Happy uh, Chinese New Year once again. This is Mike Padua. We'll return again uh, this weekend for another update. Uh, stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.